Cooperate. That's cool. <laughs> I forget our intro. Hi, it's Thursday. You're watching Thirsty Thursday. The show where it's Thursday and we get. We drink very responsibly. Why did you say it's our intro? Because I don't even say anything. Get out. This weekend's St. Patrick's Day, and I thought, get out. Really? Get out. I was on a bit. Leave. Oh. Come back in. Get out! What are you doing? Smell the cinnamon. Get out of here! Let me smell. I'm a real smeller. Okay. Wait, I can't smell them all. Well, then you're not a real smeller. Can you smell these? Yeah, I smell it. Wow, they're very potent. Oh my gosh. Whoa, we gotta get those out of here. What's wrong with my nose? This weekend St. Patrick's Day, so I thought we'd try out three green drinks. Three simple, easy green drinks for your St. Patrick's Day festivities. Are you gonna ask me if I have any green on me? Do you have any green on me? Not since last night. <laughs> <laughs> so why is it you say it's simple and easy when you have 25 bottles on the table? Well, we're making three different drinks. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Keep up, asshole. I feel like a lot of the best drinks are green. Margaritas are green. Yep, yep. Ooh, that avocado margarita we made last year was green. Hella good. Seriously, Moscow you should make green. that. Moscow meals are green. Mojitos. Mojitos are green. Are green. Pretty much all the best drinks are green. We're gonna make three of them. One I've tasted, I don't think I've tasted the other two. So we'll see if they're tasty. What three are they? Good segue. Today we're making a Scooby Snack, a Grasshopper, and a Shilala. Wait, what is it? Haven't you made me a Scooby Snack before? Yeah, so yeah. that's the one I've tried before. Yeah. A Shilele. The hell? A Shilele. Shilele. A Grasshopper I've always wanted to try. I hear it tastes like kind of like a milkshake. So that Let's try that first. I want to try No, it. no, we're gonna start with the Scooby Snack. For this drink, you will need coconut rum, creme de banane. We don't have that, but we have this banana liqueur, and I feel like it's similar. It's just like a lot more concentrated of alcohol. Melon liqueur. Liqueur, I hardly know her. I don't get it. What does it mean? It's like lick her. Like lick her? I hardly know her. Oh. All right, tough crowd. Pineapple juice. Yay. And whipped cream. <laughs> Why does a grocery store have like three sections for whipped cream? It's like. There's a section for whipped cream with the ice cream. There's a section for whipped cream by the milk. Do it as hard as you can. <laughs> we're gonna, usually we're gonna fill this with ice, but we don't have many ice cubes, so we're just gonna put maybe two of them. Oh my God. <laughs> At least the show's real. This is, what do you think? We, when you came here, what did you expect? You expected like a professional bartender or something? So to make this drink, we're gonna put equal parts of all of those liquors. Liquors? Liquors? Liquor? Liquors. Liquors. Liquor, I hardly know her. Just kids better. We're gonna put Three fourths ounce of coconut rum. Yep. Three fourths ounce of melon liqueur. But normally you would do the equal amount of the creme de banane, but this is not creme de banane. Right. It's 99 proof banana liqueur. Right. right. So we're gonna Strong. do a little less Strong. than that. Let's do like half an ounce. Three fourths ounce of pineapple juice. Is it even moving? <laughs> no. No, it's not. I just want to look sexy for you. Very cool. It does. That's how I got him to marry me. That's true. And then lastly, we're just gonna shake and we're just gonna. Yep. We're just gonna do whatever it wants to do with the whipped cream. It needs to. There we go. There we go. I got it. There you go. Nope. Nope. Cool operate. That's cool. Yeah, I like oh, it. Like cute. There we go. Oh, there we go. Cute. Cute sounds. Cute sounds only. Dot com. Oh, Where's yeah. this lid to that? Lid to what? I don't know. Did I use it? I don't know. Go look for it. <laughs> Put the lid on. <laughs> Could you not make this I just want to make best of drinks for St. Patrick's Day. I know. Now we're going to shake it. <laughs> now we're going to shake it really good. <laughs> I can hear them both. Everything's really easy. Everything's easy. The simplest drinks you could make for St. Patrick's Day. It really doesn't get any easier than that. I feel like I'm, I'm Al Roker on the Today Show right now. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, look at that. Cheers. It's even got the green. It's green. Look at that. All right, let's t you take one first, please. Really. Dang, that's good though. Worth it. Oh. Uh, that's hella worth it. That oh, is shit. worth it, that's right? Really good. <laughs> Thank you. You know what you missed? Here's what you missed. I turned Damn. the cameras off when I was screaming around the kitchen because it was the last straw. We were out of ice. We couldn't find the cap to the lid. Life's not perfect, people, but life can be a party anyway. You couldn't find the lid. Where was the lid? It was we were going all around the house looking for the lid. We looked everywhere around the house for like Nikki 15 minutes. Nikki loses stuff all the time, but, but it, it was, was right on the table. It was right in front of my and leg. you were very emotional. I was, it's PMS week. Hey, you don't have to explain yourself to them. I'm just saying, I'm a, I'm a person. Yeah. I'm a human being. You don't have to explain and yourself to these people. It was, this is worth it. But at least you make good drinks and you're real pretty and you're real cool. You gotta fun. make good drinks when you're a clusterfuck inside. Yeah, see? That's my slogan. Great, Scooby Snack. 
Freaking easy, freaking delicious. Up. Yeah. Four thumbs up. That probably just saved our marriage right there. 100%. Next on the list is a grasshopper. Have you ever had a grasshopper? Uh, no. A grasshopper tastes like a, I've heard on the internet that it tastes like a minty, a mint milkshake. Okay, like a like the Mick Shamrock. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Let's go. Let's okay, go. So you know I've actually never had that in my entire life. The Mick Shamrock. Sh the Mick Shamrock thing. Either. To make this drink, you will need creme de menthe. Oh, make sure it's the green creme de menthe. There's a clear creme de menthe and a green creme de menthe. But if you want to be festive this holiday season, green creme de menthe is your friend. Creme de cacao. Cacao. I love cacao. Cacao and my teacher cacao. Cacao to your cacao. Oh damn. You really don't have good. to pretend to smell. No, that's good. And half and half. But I didn't, I don't, we're just gonna use whipped cream. Cause it's here. Yeah. And we're gonna make this simple. To make this drink, you would need some ice. We have a little bit left. We're working on it. Have, maybe two cubes. Two. No, oh, yeah, wait, in the shaker, in the shaker. In the shaker. Yeah. Now we're just gonna take an ounce of creme de menthe and an ounce of creme de cacao and put them in the shaker. Great, creme de menthe left. Bed. And then we're just gonna fuck it up with the whipped cream again. Get wrecked, just get. I don't know who's getting wrecked, me or the whipped cream. I think you are. Pretty sure the whipped cream is getting the best. Oh, okay. <laughs> right now. Yeah, the whipped cream looks real silly. All right. <laughs> there you go. Yeah! Work, bitch! Now what? Now we're gonna shake. Shake it, shake, shake it, shake it, shake, shake it. Are you listening to the ocean? No, I'm hearing two cubes. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna put it in this martini glass. Look at that beautiful Oh, flow. dang! Beautiful. Look at the color. Look at the consistency. That's so beautiful. Look at how small it is. I know, why is it so small? <laughs> Double it's... the doses, man. I didn't pick these measurements. Yeah. Let's put some more whipped cream. I'll drink to that. Let me just put some whipped cream on the top. How about that? Why? It'll overwhelm the taste, huh? No. Cute! Cheers! Look at how green that is. Oh. This is super cute. You taste it first, because I taste the last one first. Oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah? Yeah, it's lighter. It's much lighter than the last one. Mmm, it tastes like melted mint chocolate chip ice cream. Yeah, it does. It's bomb. That's really good. Yeah. How simple was that to make? Three ingredients. Pretty much the easiest thing ever. Well, and ice, which is an ingredient that is ice sorely not easy missed. To come by. Not easy to come by. Not easy around here. The Irish, they had a potato famine. Here at the Green household, we have uh, an ice famine mm -hmm. all the time. And we like to blame each other for whose fault it is that yeah. there's no ice. It's, it's usually true. Steve's fault. Uh, it is usually my fault. You can also do a frozen grasshopper by blending this with vanilla ice cream, which I bought, but now I feel like we don't really need. It already tastes like ice cream. But if you want to be a fatty, Add some ice cream, we won't judge you. Get your party on. And lastly, we're gonna make a shilele, which I've never heard of ever in my life. I found it on the internet, and it sounds pretty Irish, so we're gonna try it. To make this drink, you will need an Irish whiskey. We have Jameson, barely, we have a little bit of it left. Just enough. So well. <laughs> and just enough ice, you will need ice. Make sure you have ice. Maybe be prepared for making drinks at your party. A rich cane sugar syrup, which I don't even know what that means. So I have agave syrup and maybe that's similar. Some matcha tea. Matcha tea this is what is gonna get, make it green. Coconut water and some cinnamon <coughs> sticks. So first, without ice, we're gonna add these ingredients to our mixer. Two ounces of Jameson or Irish whiskey. I think it's exactly two ounces. Two ounces? Wow, St. Patrick, this one's That's for you. the look of the Irish right there. But. Three ounces of coconut water, 0.5 ounces of rich cane syrup, but we don't have that. This is agave, so it's a little lighter. I would do, let's do an ounce. Let's just double that. What is this? Agave ounce? nectar. Nectar, I hardly know her. Oh, uh, I get it. A quarter teaspoon of matcha tea. And we're gonna shake that vigorously so that the, all the tea blends in. Vigorously. Vigorously. Vigor, with vigor. Vigor, bud. That's vigor. I don't. I, that's all. That's all. My, with passion. Do, that's your passion. That. I don't have to do that. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Does that make you need to pee? I'll show you vigor. Want to live here? And now we're gonna add the ice. Whatever we have left in our ice cube tray. I think we got four cubes left. That's pretty good for us oh, in this household. We're gonna shake it so that it gets cold. Okay, cool. Yeah, I wanted that. Now we're just gonna pour this into our rocks glass. It's not at all great. Now we're just gonna micrograte some cinnamon stick onto the top. I feel like a real hipster. I'm gonna garnish with the cinnamon stick too, suckas. And there we go. This looks very brown, not green at all. Maybe it's like one of those olive barf greens. I don't wanna know, I don't need to know. Steve is still not back from the bathroom. I'm just gonna taste it and see what he thinks when he gets back. Wow, that is actually delightful. Mm. It tastes like um, your mom's iced tea. Like if your mom, did your mom make iced tea? My mom always made iced tea and her iced tea always tasted so good. She would make it with a ton of ice 
and we'd just be sitting there and we'd get all like, you know, like icy around the glass and it was so good. And I could never make my iced tea that way. This tastes like her iced tea. I wonder if she put Jameson in her iced tea. She's a snaky one. Wow, that's great. Ta-da! Yay! Good you job. think it looks so sick? Yeah, it looks super sick. Do you think it looks green at all? Uh, no. Yeah, it doesn't really look but, green. It's like an olive green, maybe? Yeah, it looks like a whiskey, but it, but it's side. All right, cheers. Cheers, yum. Whoa. That's good, right? Yeah. What does it remind you of? It just tastes like, like an iced tea. Yeah, iced any tea. specific kind of iced tea? Mm, no. It tastes like my mom's iced tea. Oh, really? It tastes like my mom would always have iced tea just Dude, chilling there. Yeah, it does taste like your mom's iced tea. Yeah. That's so true. It's <laughs> just like, yeah. like the best like iced any tea mom's, you could Like my yeah. mom's iced tea, like, like when she left it out, make, yeah. and you're like, oh, fucking, you like drink dripping, all her water. Yeah. yeah, it's dripping, and they always fill with ice. And it looks yeah, so good. it looks so good, but then you try to make it, and your dumb ass can't yeah, make it Yeah, you can't make it, so you, you, so make you it exist to just steal your mom's drink. Exactly. So, that's what that tastes like. Yeah, this is really good. Well, those are some green drink ideas. What was your favorite one? Oh, that's a good call. I would say that one. This one was the only not creamy one. Yeah. So it was more refreshing. It's more refreshing, yeah. It's yeah. It's lighter to drink. I feel like you could drink multiple ones of these, Easily. whereas the other ones are a little bit more like a dessert, like a like an ice cream totally. treat. Yeah, it would definitely go with this one. It's the most Irish one, too. It's yeah, got but... Irish whiskey in it. Ireland. Irish whiskey from Ireland. That's how they talk. Yeah, those are some ideas for St. Patrick's Day. I hope you make some of them. If you do, let me know. Instagram me, tweet me, whatever. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you like it so I can make more of these. It really helps my channel out. And if you want a shirt, you can get one. Links in the description. I don't know how many other things I can market you. Thank you. Yeah. Love it high. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I hope you guys go out there, get drunk, but responsibly. responsibly. Very responsibly drunk. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this. I'll see you next time. Cheers!